Uh, Greg, we knew that uh, severe weather was a possibility. It had been forecast, uh, but I think that sometimes it still manages to catch people off guard a little bit when it just whips up. All of a sudden it goes from bad to really bad. Yeah, and, and especially, especially this time of year, Jason, I'm joined by Kyle Roberts, meteorologist Kyle Roberts in with me this morning. We talk about this late March, mm -hmm. April through May yeah. when we have uh, outbreaks of severe weather like this. Not always typical in, in October though. Definitely. Th those two storms we had in the DFW area yesterday were supercells. Mm -hmm. I mean, and those are things we usually think of uh, during the spring when we have, you know, our peak tornado tornado season. April, May, statistically the highest number of tornadoes for the year. Then things kind of calm down as we get hot and dry during the summer, but there actually is a secondary peak in October. It's what we call our second severe weather season where we get these cold fronts and these powerful storm systems like we had yesterday. But here's the deal. I think it's been quite some time since we've had a storm like the one we had yesterday in the DFW area. October tornadoes in Dallas County. Well, we've only had 11 of those on record and the last one that we had. You have to go back to 1996 and that was back before the EF scale. We called that one an F1, but the last probably significant tornado that we had in Dallas County. We've got to go back 50 years and F3 on October 12, 1969. So it's probably been a long time since we've seen a storm move through the Dallas area like we did it last night, at least during the October time frame. 